Alexa, turn on all lights. Okay. Voila. Hey, what is going on, you guys? How you guys doing today? I hope you're doing really great. So today, I'm going to speak to you about what is next for George Cambosos Jr. He lost. He lost against Devin Haney. The dream. Devin Haney. Well, there's one thing that Devin Haney actually got right. He kind of made this fight kind of boring. The dream, you know, he made me fall asleep somewhat. I'm just kidding. But for real, his fight against George Cambosos, I thought it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be great. But no, it was just one-sided the whole time. Devin Haney was getting him most of the whole time. He was using his jab against him. He used a, a jab, a jab, and then go back, jab, then go back. That's all what David Haney was doing the whole time. And I wish that George Cambosos was doing more on this fight. Just like how he did against Teofimo Lopez. Now that fight was a classic in my opinion. But like against David Haney, it was a little bit too difficult to take care of David Haney. Like throughout this fight, I believe that David Haney was controlling most of the whole fight around round 10 or so that's when Cambosos that's when he was trying his best <laughs> to knock him out but he couldn't because Devin Haney has that reach that works for him and I believe that is why Devin Haney deserves this win congrats to Devin Haney even though I kind of don't really like his style fighting well he's young though he can learn more new techniques and more skills later in his career. He's just barely 23 years old. Now he is the undisputed champ of four titles for this generation. So congrats to him, congrats to him. And now, now let's go back to George Cambosos. It took him a really long time for him to become a champion. Going on his home turf, it was, I believe, a little bit difficult because he was already away from his hometown for quite a while. He's from Australia and like most of the time he was fighting everywhere else that it was in his home. And coming back to his house, it just really sucks that he lost over there. And according to him on his post interview, he said that he's going to have a rematch against Devin Haney. But like, will there be any change? Does George Cambosos has a technique or skill that Devin Haney doesn't know about? I don't know. Guess we will find out on the rematch. But here's what I think about it. I believe that probably there isn't going to be any much difference. Devin Haney is just, gotta say, he's just too good. And like just jabbing, going back, jabbing, and going back. That's what works for him. Even though it's boring for boxing fans, you know, that's what works for him. That's why he became a champion. But again, I believe that there won't be much difference on the rematch. And after that, you know, I think the best person he could fight next, I believe it could be Lomachenko. That's the one I really look forward to. Because I, I believe that George Cambosos has really good head movement. And you know, Lomachenko, he has good footwork. He can move around a lot. He can get good punches on his opponents. And I believe they're the perfect match against each other. So that's what I believe that George Cambosos should do next. He should just go and fight Lomachenko after he fights Devin Haney again. But we don't know if he's actually going to beat him or not. If he does, I'll be surprised. I'll be really surprised. Because I was going for him in the first match. Hopefully things will change for the second match. We'll see. We'll see. We never know. It's boxing. Anything can happen. If you're a fan of boxing and would like to check out more videos, I have created a few YouTube shorts. And if you are interested, you should go check them out because I usually update on what's going on recently for boxing. Well guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. As always, live to the fullest.